Hey everyone, Matt Beck Ranch here. Uh, so today we're gonna be talking about a very important topic, flock integration. So we're gonna be taking Phyllis and her four friends and combining them with Louise and her other eight friends. So Phyllis and the other five pullets, or the other four pullets, uh, are a total of 12 weeks old. So it is time for them to join the main flock. So my main flock is actually composed of four different flocks that I've integrated over time. So it can be done. There's a little chaos. <laughs> there's a lot of pecking. There's a lot of feathers flying, but it is possible. It does happen. I do it every year. So today I'm gonna kind of walk through some questions that I get uh, about flock integration and exactly how I do it. So I'm gonna set these guys down and we'll go through it. All right, so question number one, when do you put chickens outside? So I will typically put mine out at about six weeks old. It's all weather dependent. So if I get chicks in the fall, uh, it may be a little longer. I may mo move more towards the eight week mark, but about six weeks, breed dependent, they are mostly feathered out or all feathered out. And that is usually the time that I'll start putting them outside. Uh, this year I actually got, for the first time, I actually got chicks in the summer. So it was hotter than the heck in my garage. I did not want them in there all day, every day, even with the garage door open, still very, very hot. So what I did is I ended up putting them outside about four weeks. So they are in a section off part of my run. Uh, they can see the older hens, they can smell them, hear them, all that, but they can't get to them. So there's enough screen between them that they can't peck at each other. Uh, so I know that they're safe, they're also safe from predators. So four weeks old, I will sometimes put them out during the day and then I bring them in at night. So uh, the five uh, 12 week olds and then the three olive eggers have been outside since about four or four, five weeks old. Uh, but typically it's six weeks is what I'll do. All right, so question number two, when do you start integrating? So what I will typically do at that six week mark where they're starting to go outside, not only are they together in the run, separated of course by some fencing so they can see each other and kind of be, kind of be a flock but not actually be together. Uh, not only do I do that at the six week mark, six, eight week mark, but I will also make sure that I'm letting them out into a big open space together without fences. So this takes a little bit of supervision. You wanna do it very, very slowly and over time. So I will essentially let them out into my yard. I let them run around, chaos ensues, they're flapping, flying everywhere but that's how I do it so that they get used to each other, but they're not in a confined space where you'll start getting that pecking order. So they have a chance to, you know, if the smaller chickens don't wanna be by the big chickens, they run on the other side of the yard, but at least they're kinda of all out and about together. And I do this every single day for a couple hours a day until they're ready to fully integrate. So I've been doing this now since I think about the six week mark. So the older chickens are 12 weeks old, it's time for them to integrate. Uh, they've had six weeks of together time in a big common area. All right, so this is kind of what you want to see. So all three flocks are here all together. Uh, main flock over here to the right. Uh, little olive acres there in the dog crate just because they're only eight weeks old and they're getting picked on. And then we have the uh, 12 week olds there in the back. But everyone's hanging out, nobody's bothering each other and they're just kind of going about their chicken business. All right, so question number three, biggest question of all, when do you actually integrate? So I usually try to tell people between the 12 and 16 week mark. And the reason why it's between 12 and 16 weeks is it's totally breed dependent and it's totally dependent on your flock and how the dynamic is of your existing flock and the new flock that you're bringing in. So if you have like sized chickens, let's say like you're merging Rhode Island Reds with rocks, uh, they're a similar size, you may not have as many issues. You could probably do it about the 12 week mark. If you're trying to integrate silkies into a flock of let's say Rhode Island Reds, you're probably gonna wanna wait towards that 16 week mark and really watch them because the bigger chickens will typically get picked on more uh, if they're a different size. So all of the ones that I'm merging in with my main flock now are about the same size. Uh, Edith, the golden lace wine dot's a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna kind of keep an eye on her, but being that she's with a flock of five, they should all kind of stick together and stick up for each other. So 12 weeks is usually when I do it, but again, it completely depends on what breeds you're doing and the biggest advice I can give is do it slowly and watch your chickens. You wanna understand the behavior that they have and make sure you're not seeing any over aggression when you actually put the two in. If you see a lot more aggression than just kind of feather and 
feather pulling and pecking order stuff, you may want to pull them back out and wait closer to that 16 week mark. All right, so question four, how do you do it? So pretty much what I will do the day that I decide I'm ready to integrate the flocks, uh, I'll let them all hang out during the day. So right now everyone's out and about, playing, running around, flapping, just having a great old time. Uh, what I will do when I put them away is I will put them all in the run together just because I want to see how they're acting, making sure there's no uh, crazy aggression or any dominance that I'm worried about. There will be pecking, there will be feathers pulling, but as long as it's nothing where they're causing injury, blood, anything like that, they'll be fine. They're chickens, they gotta figure out their pecking order. But when I'm actually ready to fully integrate and then from now on the two flocks are staying together, I will do it at night and that's the key. So you wanna make sure that when you are trying to integrate, you take your new flock, do it at night when the older chickens are sleeping, take your smaller 12 week, 14, 16 week old chickens and put them in the coop at night. Now, chickens can be smart, but they're not the smartest creatures in the world. So what'll happen usually the next morning is they'll all wake up together and they'll be like, hey, new friends. You guys must've been here the whole time, right? Cool, I guess we slept over, so we're buddies now. So it doesn't always happen that way, but it does happen a lot of the time. So for some reason, when they wake up together and they go out in the morning, they're like, oh, cool, we're, we're just a flock now, right? Uh, you will still see feathers being pulled, pecking orders being figured out, especially when it comes to the roosting bars. Your more alpha chickens are gonna be at the higher roosting bars. If those little chicks think that they can get up there, they got another thing coming. So I will usually put them on the lower rung uh, roosting bar so that they are away from the more alpha chickens and closer to the more submissive ones. Um, but there still will be some chaos. You're gonna hear some screaming. You're gonna hear some flapping. Just trust me, they need time to figure it out. They need to figure out their pecking order. So do it at night, do it when they're all, do it when the older ones are already asleep even, and just put the new chickens in already and you should have much, much less chaos in the morning. All right, so uh, in just a second, I'm gonna put the new, the two flocks into the coop and the run and we're gonna see what happens. So I've not put them into a confined space before. I have a feeling there's gonna be a little bit of chaos, but we're gonna be in this together and see what happens. Uh, a tip that I have when you try to put the new chickens into the existing chickens coop and run is have extra feeders and extra waters. Just because you may have enough for your current flock and it just say so you have enough for even the entire flock all in one designated area, the smaller chickens may not want to go near the larger chickens for a little bit of time. So a couple days, maybe in a week or two. So what I always try to do is have extra waters, extra feeders in the run or in the coop so that they have plenty of room to spread out and you're not worried about anyone being dehydrated or not getting enough to eat. So I'm gonna go gather up all the chickens and let's see what happens. All right, so everyone is in together. Uh, you can see Mabel and Louise kind of trapped the uh, little guys there in the corner. I think they're all there unless someone ran over to the right. Uh, another thing I like to do, so you can see, uh, I got the extra two gallon water here, uh, water in there. There's the main 50 gallon water that's in underneath the coop, um, but I'll put the water there and then I'll also put a little food kind of in that corner or maybe right along here. Uh, and then what I also do the first time you integrate is I throw a ton of scratch down, just kind of spread it all out so that hopefully they're a little distracted by the new, additions and all they want to do is eat the scratch so we'll go in here a little bit so mabel's hanging out with them which is good uh and i think they're just trying to figure out what their plan is so i'll leave them in here maybe for another 20 minutes or so just to kind of see how they do um but so far no crazy squawking no feather pulling yet uh it will happen but not yet, so we'll just kind of keep an eye on it, and then I will let them all back out. Uh, I will put the 12 weeks olds in their own little area, just kind of leave them out for the day all together, and then tonight I will actually put them in a sleep, and I'll try my best to get some video of that too. So, see what I can do for you. What are you doing, tortoise? All right, so just put the, uh New chickens in here. As you can see, everyone is in their roosting areas. And 
good night and good luck, little ones. Alright, it's been about 25 minutes, so we're gonna check on them here and just see how they're doing. I'm gonna go quick so we don't disturb them too much. So, they're actually over there in the corner, which under the roost bar is not ideal, but not the end of the world, so good first start. Alright, morning of the first day, first full day of integration. They are hanging out in their little corner. Uh, Norma's here, along with all the other ones. And uh, yeah, so nothing, you can see they're standing close together and no pecking or fighting. Uh, there's been a little bit of feather pulling and pecking just as they kind of figure out who's in charge and who's low on the totem pole. So this is exactly what you want to see. And uh, yeah, so be a little chaos probably for the next couple of days, but the fact that they are not going after them and they're just leaving them alone in that corner that's exactly what i want to see all right guys that is flock integration so it does take time uh this is only day two or the first full day i guess technically of actual integration so it's gonna take a while they're still gonna be figuring out their pecking order uh even now i've had flocks that are now integrated for two three years and they're still pecking order issues where you know norma for example is the alpha she'll go after the other ones and kind of put them in their place so it's gonna take a little time for them to kind of figure it out, but they will. Uh, most likely tonight, I'll have to help put them back in the roost uh, again, because typically it will take a couple of days for them to go from run uh, to the actual roost on their own. So I find that it does take me a couple of days of kind of just picking them up in the run, putting them in the coop uh, on the roost. So it'll take a little bit for them to learn exactly where to sleep, uh, but it will happen and it will work. So it takes time, do it slow, uh, do it in open areas, don't worry about the feather pulling and the, the screaming. As long as there's no blood and there's no open wounds, they're fine. They will figure it out. Uh, but that's it. So uh, I will integrate the olive eggers probably in about a month or so. Uh, and then we will have one full flock, which would be nice. So, uh, yeah. So let me know. Uh, drop any comments down below uh, if you have any questions. Uh, anything else I can answer. I think I tried to go through as much as I, as much as I could for how I do it. But if you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, Thanks, guys.